Goedemiddag dames en heren, hartelijk welkom, gezellig dat u er allemaal bent. Ondanks het mooie weer, toch met zoveel mensen hier gekomen. <lacht> Waarom lacht u? Dat staat er, hè? Ja, hier staat alles in het Engels. Uh, ja, ik weet eigenlijk helemaal niet wat ze goed wat ik moet zeggen. Het is een hele bijzondere expositie, uh, een bijzondere kunstenaar. En uh, omdat ik zijn taal niet spreek, heb ik daar speciaal voor iemand voor uitgenodigd. Die ook de taal niet spreekt, maar het wel in het Engels kan. Wat ook niet mijn kwaliteiten zijn, althans niet voor een introductie. Daarom wil ik zo vlug mogelijk het woord geven aan Rita Seiber. Zij mag komen. Bravo, bravo. Dank je, dank je. Just because we have a special guest from Ukraine, um, the Ukrainian artist uh, Igor Kachanik. Uh, he doesn't understand Dutch, but he is familiar with English, so that's the reason. Uh, Igor Kachanik created all these uh, nice sculptures which we see around us, and uh, he received his classical education in art uh, academy in Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, meanwhile, uh, he is several years busy in this art world and he created his name, he became a great name in the field of modern, uh, I would say, mythological art. Uh, he completed several significant commissions in public areas in Ukraine and abroad and his works are held in private and uh, commercial uh, collections all over the world. <clears throat> when I saw his works first time, I thought of, a, of his quotation from Picasso. Uh, Picasso said, art washes away all the dust of everyday's life. Uh, that was my impression. And I felt reminded on, on my childhood when I was laying in the grass, uh, watching the clouds. And all of us, we know these games which we have with clouds. You see a fish, we see a kind of animal. And this comes back in, in these sculptures, for example. A, a fish with two legs. Um, these are, for me, typical cloud, cloud images. And uh, with each viewing, whenever I saw, saw these uh, sculptures again, I found new details in the sculptures. For example, uh, human fists in the dreamer. This is a kind of... Uh, yeah. Yeah, on the floor now. <coughs> <laughs> uh, this artist makes visible uh, hidden parts of the image. His sculptures merging modernity and classical tradition and they are most of all deeply sym symbolic. Uh, they, may see, they may be seen as symbols of a spiritual entity and uh, his technique uh, allows him to, to create kind of, of magical world uh, full of energy, power and uh, dynamism. And uh, at least I want to, to uh, tell about the uh, actual exhibition, Grace Kelly exhibition in uh, Palais Heblo in Appeldoorn. Uh, the beauty of Grace Kelly, we have a sculpture here. Behind you. Yeah. It's delightfully sculpted in bronze and is indeed, for my opinion, very fantastic. She is powerful and elegant and uh, yes, <laughs> she has created a goddess in my eyes, uh, beautiful in their imperfection, magical in their fragility, uh, hiding in uh, their power and graceful in, in their adornment. Love of beauty is taste and expressions, desires, obsessions, longings, uh, everything is, is uh, um, no, I, find, I don't find the word, <clears throat> um, is 
explained in this in the sculpture and uh, exposed okay. in all his female sculptures. So I saw a couple of photographs and I was very impressed. In addition, we see here around us other works from other artists, uh, paintings of Ralf Heinen, and these ones, uh, statues in the, in the uh, other part of the gallery from Peter Jung, paintings from Frank Fleur, Nico Hochland, uh, his landscapes, and drawings from myself. I will open this exhibition with a big toast to you, Igor. Uh -huh. We thank you that you came all this way from Ukraine to here and to be part of this exhibition. Thank you for, for coming here with me.